Hi folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you Osprey's most sustainable rucksack to date It is the Osprey Talon Air 22 So let's get stuck right in So this pack meets the blue sign criteria Essentially what that means is Osprey have used recycled products throughout the making of this So from the nylon to the toggles to the zips to the mesh to the foam Everything is recycled even the threads that hold this pack together But anyways, what we'll do is I'm not going to regurgitate everything that's on the Osprey website What we'll do is just go through some of the features So first things first, this weighs 1.1 kilograms The dimension in centimetres is 51 by 25 And your depth is 23 So what we'll do now is give you a tour of the rucksack First things first, at the top here you will see we have a an attachment for your helmet Here there's two little holes where you can attach a bike light to Here you have an ice axe loop with the bungee cord for attachment as well I would say this is a little bit small for winter use in the mountains but it's a perfect three season pack So this is probably more likely for attaching trekking poles and you can also just tuck that loop away just for a cleaner look to the side of the pack you will see here they have identical wand pockets for your water bottles and this holds my SIG bottle nicely and you can see here as well I've got another small water bottle To the rear of the pack you have their Airscape mesh panel which helps for breathability and it's nice and foam as well for comfort This is also adjustable just to suit your back size that can slide up and down on the straps you'll see here the sternum strap has a built-in whistle and there's plenty of loops for attaching things like GPS units or whistles whatever takes your fancy there's also a small pocket here which I haven't worked out what you could put in there maybe tissues or whatever you like but it's quite small This rucksack also benefits from some nice deep hip pockets I have a decent sized mobile phone in that one And in this one I have stashed some snackage in the form of some nuts I can also fit a compact camera inside this case in here So these are definitely a nice decent size Okay, let's get inside One of the quirky designs of the Talon Air 22 is I'm used to the main body of the rucksack being at the rear of the pack In this case I've actually put the main body at the front and I'll show you why So first things first If you open up the rear compartment This has been designed with commuters in mind This is called the laptop sleeve and it's a bit odd um, If you don't want to carry laptops you might want to just look at the regular Talon 22 rather than the Earth model but what I've done for hiking purposes is I have put my sit mat map and compass in there instead. But what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you. This is my elite book for work, and that just slots in nicely there. So it is a really good laptop sleeve for commuting to work. Or you can actually put a water bladder in there as well It has got the attachment and a hole for getting the, the hose through You can see there And you can also get the Osprey bladders into the external pack here So there's two different compartments for water bladders So the next up is the middle section Which is a small compartment As you can see here I have a sandwich tub And plenty of snacks So I found this middle compartment really good for lunch stuff It's just a nice size there Finally, that takes us to the main compartment of the rucksack Which is the front And what I've done is I've just filled this up with everything I would use on a day trip and First things first And here I've got my first aid kit My emergency bivvy bag I've got a midge net Sunglasses And some toiletries just in case in this little mesh bag I have spare hats and gloves 
waterproof trousers, waterproof jacket, and an insulated jacket. And that is the main compartment now empty. You can see here, it's pretty deep and a good size. Also inside the main compartment is an extra little mesh pocket here, which if I open up, I've got my wallet and my car keys safely stowed away. It's always a worry. OCD kicks in over. I've got my car keys with me. And then you can also see there I've got the, the water bottles at the side that I mentioned earlier. Now this isn't waterproof, so I wouldn't be using mesh bags normally. I would have this all packed away in waterproof dry sacks. That was just for the video purposes. So yeah, the Osprey Talon Earth 22 and this one is in ocean blue. There's also two other colours. You've got tundra green and you've also got desert brown, I think they call it. And um, when I seen those colours, I really wasn't feeling them at all. Uh, so I was glad they sent me the blue one. Now these retail at £160, so that is £30 more expensive than the regular Talon 22. But you've got to remember, there's a lot of recycled materials in this, so I'm not an expert, that may cost a little bit more for them to manufacture. Pros and cons. The pros are, it's a comfortable pack, it's well thought out, there's loads of compartments and it's spacious. It is ideal for day trips on the mountains out with winter. Uh, cons, there's not really much I can fault this with. Um, if I was to really have to pick a fault, it would probably be the laptop sleeve up at the top. And the reason is, if you'd have no intentions of using this as a commuter pack to carry laptops, then this may become a bit redundant. But as you can see, I've used this for other stuff. I've got a sit mat and a map in there. So you can use it for other things, including a water bladder. So it's not the end of the world. But uh, if you're not going to use it for commuting, you might want to look at the regular Talon 22. But otherwise, yeah, that's all I've got time for. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!